telemetry on Linux is likely always going to be a very touchy subject. How it's done, what's collected, and all of those other fine little details. And today, we need to talk once again about Fedora Linux. So you may recall back during the Fedora 40 discussions, there was this change proposal, privacy preserving telemetry for Fedora Workstation. At the time, I made a video on this, and even prior to my coverage, I am not to blame for this, prior to my coverage, there was already 300 comments on one of the threads. There were a lot of people talking about this, and it wasn't a lot of people in favour of the change. The first major piece of contention was whether or not it would be opt-in or opt-out telemetry. The problem is the initial plan was to make it opt-in. Out. So, by default, it would be turned on. If you installed Fedora from a clean install, during the installation process, there would be no data collected, but the toggle would be enabled by default. Then you have the option to disable the toggle during the installation process. If you don't disable it, then the data collection starts. For those doing an upgrade, local data collection, so Gathering all the metrics on your system would be done by default, it would be on by default, but uploading, that would be opt-in. Being a forum, there were obviously people acting out of line, going way too far with it, and obviously don't go and do that, but the concern that people had is they felt like this was a really bad path to go down. Even though they were being ensured that no personally identifiable information was being collected, there is a lot of people on Linux who left Windows during Windows 8, Windows 10, and now Windows 11, where data collection is really, really ramping up. And that is the main reason why they left Windows. So it doesn't matter whether or not the information being collected by Fedora was going to be anything like Windows was doing, where they were collecting just things for the sake of collecting things. There are a lot of people out there where they see even just a slight inching in that direction, any sort of opt-out data collection, any sort of on-by-default data collection as just being a pure negative and are always going to reflexively disagree with it. Whilst there were people being rational about this, a lot of other people were not acting with reason or acting with logic, and it doesn't matter what benefits you explain the developers are going to get, how this data is going to improve the software and make Fedora a much, much better operating system, that was just never going to fly with those people, and I don't think that's ever going to change. Along with this, there was confusion over which desktops were actually going to be involved here. It was just Fedora Workstation, the Fedora GNOME spin, the main way to use Fedora. For things like Fedora KDE and Fedora Budgie, KDE does have an opt-in system that you can go and use whenever you want, but as for Budgie, they had zero interest in supporting a system like this. There was a lot more to that discussion, which I highly recommend you go back and take a look at, but today, we're not talking about the old change proposal, we are talking about the new one. Changes slash metrics, opt-in metrics for Fedora Workstation. Now, as I say every single time, a change proposal is exactly that. A proposal for a change. It is not a guarantee that something is going to happen, so if you want to leave feedback about it, and you want to be a normal, functioning person who can actually leave reasonable feedback, please do get involved. It turns out that all of those things that would have made this system impossible and made the data useless aren't actually impossible and aren't actually going to make the data useless. And again, this is only for Fedora Workstation, not KDE, not Budgie, none of the others. Let's start with the summary. Protecting user privacy is of utmost importance for this initiative. To this end, the service will only collect generic, standardized data and will never collect anything that is personally identifying. It will also, of course, be fully open source. On the server side, the data will be stored in a way that prevents user identification. This is basically what was in the first proposal anyway. Nothing has really changed here, and I still think that's a perfectly reasonable goal. 
another important aspect of the initiative is that it will be run in a transparent manner and will be governed as part of the Fedora project. A new SIG, SIGs basically being their groups to discuss various parts of the system and manage different things, will be responsible for the service and will be open to community participation. So if you want to get involved, please do get involved. It will publish analysis of the data which has been collected, provide documentation about how the service operates, will share samples of the database data and will respond to requests from the community. This is a little bit more transparent than it was before. Previously, they were going to provide a database schema so you know what data is being collected and how the data is laid out. But being able to get samples of the database data, I think is really big. Now, whether or not you trust it, you know, that's going to be up to you. But if you don't trust they're being transparent, nothing they do is going to convince you. Finally, and this is the big change, we intend to ensure that metrics reporting is fully under the control of end users. Metrics collection will default to off and will only be enabled through a clean on-off prompt in initial setup. Users will be able to view the data that has been collected locally and will be able to remove the client software from their systems should they choose to do so. Obviously, you could already do that before, but ensuring it is a very easy to remove package that doesn't try to pull down other annoying dependencies that is really big. This, I think, is the correct way to do it. You were never, ever going to convince people that metrics collection on by default, even if you can toggle it off during the installation process, was ever going to be a good idea to some people. There's going to be a lot of people that just didn't care, but the people who really do care are the ones who are the loudest about it. I'm going to make this crystal clear for people that don't understand yet. When you are dealing with people that really, really care about privacy, any sort of opt-out data collection, so on by default data collection, it doesn't matter what data is being collected, it doesn't matter what you're doing with that data, it doesn't matter what benefit it is going to provide to the developers and then the users who then get better software. If you have opt-out data collection, your distro is going to be labeled as spyware. Now, should it be labeled as spyware? Probably not. But you are dealing with people that really care about privacy, and that is the way it is going to go. But the new system is opt-in, so let's talk about what data is going to be collected. Actually, what data is not going to be collected? We will not collect identifying information such as email addresses, online account details, and IP addresses. Now, technically, they are going to collect IP addresses because anytime you connect to a server, the server is going to see your IP address, but they are not going to be logging it in the database. We will only collect generic standardized information. For example, we want to collect data on which apps are used, but we'll never collect data on which websites are viewed or which files are opened. And server side, each metric will be stored separately and will not be linked to other metrics from the same system. This will prevent user fingerprinting through the cross-referencing of anonymous information. Now, being opt-in, I literally could not care what data is actually being collected. If you are fully informed of what the data is, for all I care, do a retina scan. If you are telling me beforehand you are going to do a retina scan, if you sign this box, you're going to get a retina scan, that's fine. You opted in to do that. But they're not trying to do that, so let's look at what data they actually care about. Firstly, hardware details. CPU, graphics, cameras, which peripherals are present? This would probably include things like, do you have multiple mice included? Do you have, I don't know, a capture card? and Things like that. System details. The display language, which input methods are used, which accessibility features are enabled. Desktop usage patterns, which apps are used, how many workspaces there are, how often each system settings panel is opened. But interestingly, it's not going to be every app you use. We will only record known package names in order to prevent custom apps when identifying metadata from being recorded. So if you are working on an application, that isn't going to be included. If you compile something from source, that is not going to be included. If you make a custom package, that is not going to be included. Once again, being opt-in, I really don't care if that data was being collected, 
But I do understand the logic behind doing this. If you include custom applications and someone gets access to all of the data, it then becomes a lot easier to identify a specific user. Along with this, there'll also be performance reports, disk and memory usage, and evidence of problems. Count of system crashes, OOM events, app crashes, things like that. OOM being out of memory. So this is a little thing where your kernel, your system starts just killing applications, killing processes in the background when there is no memory left because it doesn't want to crash. And wherever possible, the system will aggregate data locally prior to upload. For example, it can report the number of times the feature was used in a week instead of the exact time when it was used. This method further increases anonymity by reducing the precision of the data that is reported. One thing I do think would be nice is adding the ability to make the data collection granular. So on KDE, if you go into your system settings and you go to, I think it's user feedback, here we go. There is a setting here to enable different levels of telemetry. Some people may not be happy with sending all of this data, but maybe they would be happy with a little bit of it, or maybe a bit more, so on and so forth. And I think this is a good way to approach the situation. Now, how the data is going to be used is how you would expect. No, they're not selling to some big data collection agency. Resource prioritization. Knowing which features and hardware users actually need and actually need to be improved upon. Also, software improvements. One thing I really do hope they collect is which GNOME extensions are being used. Because if all of your users or 90% of your users or even like 50% of your users are all using one specific extension, maybe it shouldn't be an extension anymore and it should be built into the system. Configuration enhancement, better default settings for Fedora Workstation. If everybody is changing one of your settings, maybe it shouldn't be the default anymore. A good example of this is in the KDE project where everybody was setting it to double click to open instead of single click. So upstream went and just changed it. And then finally, better development practices. If you have user data, you can actually prioritize things that make sense. Once again, going into the first one. And who will have access to the data? Raw data from the database will be published during the testing phase prior to wide scale deployment. So prior to everybody having this on their system on workstation, you can see exactly what is being collected members of the community will be able to join the metric SIG in order to get full ongoing access to the data. After deployment, a randomly selected sample of the database will be published once it has been manually checked. And I assume if there is something in there that shouldn't have been in there, they will then update the data collection to make sure that is no longer being collected. Members of the community will be able to request the SIG for copies of the database, which will be shared privately. If you are getting a full copy of the database, there's no way to know that people aren't sharing it just externally. If it is just a slice of the database, then I can see, yes, okay, that's how you can identify if people are sharing it, which shouldn't be sharing it. Again, all of this comes back to trust. If you don't trust the fact that they are going to give you the data that they say they're going to give you, there is no way they can convince you that this is going to be a good idea. And if you don't trust the Fedora developers, why are you using Fedora? I'm very confused about this. Now, all of this is fine out of the gate, but what about if something needs to change in the future? Any changes to the metric system and its governance arrangements will require approval by FESCO. This will include any changes to the metric data that is collected, the metric SIG, so its rules, role, composition, member terms, the technology used, changes to the UI for user opt-in slash opt-out, and hosting of the infrastructure or involvement of third parties. Basically, if they want to do any changes, they have to make it very publicly known that a change is going to happen. They can't just push a little patch that, oh, suddenly now there's a ton more data collection. That would be massively violating the rules. Now, the feedback section is a little bit amusing to me. The initial version of this proposal generated a huge amount of feedback and debate. That is certainly one way to put it. We have put a lot of time and effort into engaging with this feedback and the proposal has been substantially changed in response to it. 
The biggest change is going from opt out to opt in. Initially, the person who made the change proposal was completely against making an opt in, saying that doing so would make the data collection completely pointless. I am very, very happy they have changed their mind about this. We are grateful to the Fedora community for enabling us to improve the proposal in this way. We know that there were issues with the original proposal, and that these led to serious concerns amongst the community. We hope the updated proposal addresses these concerns and look forward to receiving further feedback. From my perspective, being opt-in, if you explain what you're doing, I think it's totally okay. Now, being a much less controversial change, there is a lot less in the way of feedback. There is still comments, and people are still responding. When I planned out this video yesterday, there were only 8 comments, now there is 28. This is certainly a number of people, but it's much less than 300. Now there are still some people who don't read the proposal and just see telemetry, they don't even pay attention to the opt-in or the opt-out part, and just see telemetry and think bad, but... I just don't think that's the case. I think this is a much better way to do it. I am not against telemetry. I am against opt-out telemetry. If you do something like KDE has with their completely opt-in solution that most distros just have set to being off, totally fine by me. We'll have to wait and see exactly how they want to present the data collection in the installer and how they want to explain, you know, why the data collection is a good thing for them, but... I think that's pretty much it that I have to say here. I don't really have any concerns here. If they do make a change, I know they have to go through Fesco, but I really hope they make it very, very clear to the users that a change has occurred when it actually affects the data collection. Maybe have some sort of pop-up on their system, maybe make them actually select again if there's a change. I don't think you should be able to just make a change and then expect that people are going to go and read some blog about it or read some news about it because most people just are not going to do so. Make it clear on their system and go from there. But what do you think? Do you care about opt-in data collection? Were you opposed to the opt-out solution in the past? And I don't know, do you use Fedora? Let me know down below. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scribes, and Libero Pay link in the description down below. From my understanding, um, YouTube thinks I'm just speaking nonsense when I do my outro, so if you understand what I'm saying, also let me know down below. I want to go. So, see you guys later.